How to add your digital signature to Apple Pages document? The signature is a simple image. So if you already got your signature as a PNG with the transparent backdrop, simply drag and drop that into your document you are done. But if not, we got two options. I recommend to use the actual real pen and paper approach because in this way the signature will be very realistic like the usual one. So just grab pen and paper and write down your signature. Then you can take a picture of that paper and put it in your laptop on your laptop by sending this to yourself or using airdrop or similar features putting to your Google Drive, etc. Or if you are iPhone user, there's a new option for us. So take a look. We can actually, when you click media here, I can see my iPhone here. I can scan document. And now my iPhone is responding and waiting for me to click scan. So that's what I'm going to do next. And here it is. Uh, File that just scanned with my iPhone, a simple piece of paper, a signature. Now, what we can do is we can scale it a bit down. And in my case, I need to rotate that. So I use the format panel on the right side. In a range, I will need to add some rotation to it 90 degrees. Now, I will need to use a background remover here in the image section. All right, so we get rid of the white color. Now we can also crop it a little bit to just so show the signature like that using the edit mask feature. And now I'm done. I got my signature imported into this document without a backdrop. I can move it around. And if there's a text, take a look. My signature is already without the backdrop. We use this built in feature. But what's that? My signature is pushing the text away. If it's happened to you, be sure that you arrange it correctly. So automatically, you got text warp set up here. You want to set this up as none. This way, you can place your signature anywhere, even at the top of the text, like that. Take a look. Nice, we got just pen, handwriting, signature in our Apple Pages document. So again, just put your image in and then use the built-in feature to crop it, rotate it, get rid of the backdrop, and this way you can have a nice realistic signature in your document. In this method, you will have to use a secondary device like your phone to take a picture of the piece of paper with your signature but I don't think that's a huge problem. And if you are on the iPhone, as I show, you can use the media tab here to use a scan document from your iPhone directly. All right. Thank you for today. I will see you in the next Apple Pages tutorial.